Hello everyone, my name is Peter and you are watching a devlog about my game Treasured, a temple raiding, museum building, co-op puzzle game. Let me start this video by saying thank you, again. <laughs> the number of subscribers has doubled after the last devlog. I just don't really know what to say other than thank you so much. It is amazing to see so many people showing an interest in my game dev journey. If you have watched the last devlog, you know I had to present one final time to complete my graduation project. And well... I have now graduated from my major game design and development. Well, not officially. I still need to receive my diploma, but that will happen at the start of December. I want to thank all you guys for the kind words I received before my presentation and after I told everyone I passed. Okay, so I graduated. What is next? Well, more on that at the end of the video. I have shown progress on the website already, but the website wasn't live yet. Well, the website is live now, and it has been created from scratch again. Previous versions of the website were focused on finished art for the game. Well, I don't have that. <laughs> so I needed a simpler design that would showcase what I need to showcase. At the top you will find information about the development and the roadmap. And below you will find information about the game with some screenshots, although these screenshots really need to change. I am still not sure about this design, but at least it's something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Finally, some game development progress. Although, not a lot, because I also had to do other things. But again, more on that later. You can't really see the progress I made, since they are mostly under the hood things. But let me try to visualize what I've done. Before, I had the foliage and rubble generators, which both had inputs and outputs. Well, the outputs were the spawned objects. Both of these generators had their own code, even though 80%, maybe 90, of the code was the same. This week I generalized the generators, so I now have a single generator which I can use to spawn foliage and rubble. Why did I do this? Well, if I want to change a small thing in both generators, I have to change them both. Currently there are just two, but if there are like eight or nine, I have to change all of the files and change that small little thing. By generalizing everything in a single generator, I only have to change a single file. To be clear, this is just for spawning objects. If I want to, let's say, spawn vines, I have to create a new system because they are generated differently. Next to the generalization, I also made custom inspectors for the generalized generators. What this means is very simple. Before, the editor looked like this, and every variable was exposed, with no context. Right now, the editor looks like this. It might not really look impressive, but things are a lot easier and clearer now, at least to me. Right now, variables will only show when they are needed, making it a lot easier to edit. And the same goes for hotspots. Hotspots are these things I can manually place to create places where a lot of plants or rubble will spawn. This is how I edited the hotspots before. I had to manually change variables in the editor and then see if the hotspot is in the correct spot. As you can imagine, this is very tedious. With the new editor, 
I can toggle the edit button and now I can do everything within the scene view. I can move the hotspot very easily. I can create a new hotspot by holding shift and dragging. And I can also delete it by holding control and clicking on a hotspot. These little editor things will keep me from going insane in the future when I actually have to use these tools. So about the future. As I told you before, I have graduated now. This means I have to get a job to pay the bills and I'm not making any money with game dev as of yet. I would love to do game dev full time, but sadly I can't. I'm looking into Patreon so people can get more insight in exchange for monthly revenue, which allows me to spend more time on the game. Some might want to tell me to just release the game, but I want to give you something that is worth playing and not just making quick money. Don't get me wrong, I do need the money, but I actually want to earn it and I don't just want to get it. There is a difference. That leaves me with the following announcement. I will be uploading videos every two weeks now, instead of trying to upload every week. This might change to a even longer period if I need the time when I'm also working another job, but the time between videos can also become shorter, but that will require some funding from my game dev journey. We'll see what the future will bring. The next video may take some time since a lot will happen in the next few weeks. So I might not have enough content to show you. I do want to show you more than I did in this video. Before I end the video, I again want to thank you for the awesome response to the devlogs. The newest milestone for a video is over 2000 views with over 200 likes. That is just insane. If you have an opinion on anything I said in the video, let me know. I always want to know what others think. That is all for this week. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when I upload another video and follow me on social media to get all the updates about me, the game, the channel and other things. That's all. Take care.